this edition of Tech It Out, a new way to talk to machines. Researchers design a new touch sensor to control tech through water vapor. A discovery out of this world, scientists have found possible signs of life on Venus. And wildlife under threat. The world's wildlife population is down 70% in half a century. No touch technology has become important for use in contaminated healthcare environments, especially during the COVID-19 outbreak. As humans rely more and more on machines to help them, smart sensors are playing a key role since they can effectively translate various signals from the human body into information the machine can recognize. While most sensors generally detect signals through direct contact, such as a pressure sensor, here at the Smart Sensor Lab is something different. You can control the light and even write on the screen without touching it. In the sensor, scientists place the thin strip of chemical called molybdenum trioxide between two electrodes to measure the humidity. The metal oxide can absorb the water in the air, which was provided by your finger. When it's become moist, its resistance will lower allowing stronger electric currents to get through. In this way, humidity information will be converted into an electrical signal. The new design provides a new alternative to no-touch technology. This prototype sensor allows us to write on a notepad on your computer and to unlock the cell phone without touching anything. But of course, it still needs a lot of work for this idea to be turned into a real device. The researchers will use special equipment to process molybdenum trioxide. The goal is to make a rougher surface, creating tiny wrinkles and increased surface area. Unlike traditional sensors that have been installed on heavy and rigid surfaces, these sensors are more flexible, twistable, and even stretchable. With the high transmission rate of the coronavirus, hospital-wise infection has been widely reported. This cluster of infections have become a big challenge for medical staff around the globe. Measures to control the spread of infection inside hospitals has become more urgent. Welcome to Science Saturday. I'm Kasturi Manikam. Today we look at science news ranging from possible signs of life on Venus to wildlife protection. First, evidence of potential for life on the planet next door. 
A smelly flammable gas called phosphine has been found on Venus. Here on Earth, phosphine is produced predominantly by anaerobic biological sources. So with this discovery, there's a chance that there are some living organisms in the clouds of Venus. But scientists say further observations and modeling are needed to explore the origin of the gas in the planet's atmosphere. The findings are published in the peer-reviewed journal Nature Astronomy. Washington has just announced its decision to ban TikTok downloads from app stores in the United States. U.S. President Donald Trump is questioning plans by Chinese tech firm ByteDance to keep a majority stake in TikTok's U.S. operations as part of a partnership deal with Oracle. Trump says any agreement to continue operating in the United States must be 100% as far as national security is concerned. He has called the popular video sharing app a security threat and says he would ban it unless it's sold by ByteDance. The world's wildlife population is under threat. A new report by the World Wildlife Fund says human activity has wiped out two-thirds of the world's wildlife since 1970. Latin America and the Caribbean are the world's worst affected areas, which have seen an average drop of 94%. The report says humans' overexploitation of wildlife, grassland conversion and climate change are among the major drivers of this devastating decline. Researchers are urging for changes in production and consumption patterns of food and energy, increased conservation efforts and a global collective effort. The winners of the 2021 Oscars of Science, also known as Breakthrough Prizes, have been revealed. Eight scientists have been recognized for their achievements in mathematics, fundamental physics and life sciences. One of the recipients is David Baker, whose team designed a molecule that potentially inhabits the coronavirus that causes COVID-19. The team also successfully synthesized the proteins, which demonstrated a neutralizing antibody, shedding light on a potential new treatment to the disease. The prices in total are over 21 million US dollars. Due to the coronavirus pandemic, this year's ceremony has been postponed until March 2021. Well, that's all for today. If you have any comments, please let us know and stay in touch with us on our website and social media platforms. This is CGTN's Check It Out. See you next time.